my loves and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be trying out e.l.f. makeup. So right now I am just sipping on my tea. I do have a candle burning behind me. You know I'm in my safe space. <laughs> so today let's get this video started with where I actually got the makeup. And it was Target. So I pretty much went to Target and picked up everything that they had on the shelf. I will say that before I was prepping my skin to come down here and do everything that I realized I did not pick up an eyeliner if they do have an eyeliner. Um, I just totally forgot that but I do have everything else. I do not actually have, um, I don't have their foundation and that's simply because all the foundations were too light or entirely too dark for my skin. So today the first thing I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Poreless uh, Honey Primer. I remember people were saying that this compares to like the Tatcha or something like that. The Putty Primer. I never tried it because I thought it was honestly too expensive for a primer. Like, baby girl. I don't know. So. It doesn't smell like anything. This is what it looks like. Um. Let me see. Poreless putty primer. All right. Okay, this is a little bit better. I prefer natural lighting just so it doesn't look so pasty with the background, but I'm gonna work with it, okay. Um, I'm gonna finish my primer. I'm actually gonna grab this um, MAC brush just to kind of speed up the process. It looks, it looks oily, but like it does not feel oily. And on camera, my face looks like really white right now. But like in person, my face does not look like that. But we're gonna fix it anyway. Right. And next up we're gonna do is our brows. And I got the Instant Brow Lift Pencil in Deep Brown. It has like the pencil on this end and the spoolie on this end. I'm just gonna brush up my brows. actually used a brow pencil before so hopefully this just doesn't come out like terrible hmm. like I'm trying to get used to only filling in my brows like where it's sparse instead of you know filling in the entire brow I feel like that looks a lot better I'm gonna use this flat um, angle brush by Morphe. Let me hold it up like that actually. And then we're just going to clean up our brows. We end with the La Elf Lash and Brow Gel. Um, I used to really love a good gel and the last one I used was from Rimmel London and it was like a brownish tint, but this one is actually clear. And it does have like a weird smell to it, I ain't gonna lie. It smells almost like an automotive shop. Uh, let's try to finesse. And we're gonna go in with our foundation and I actually got this from Maybelline. Um, it's the Super Stay one. I'm not really gonna go into it because this is like an elf, you know, makeup look. But this is literally all I could find that was close to my color. So I'm just gonna, you know, put this on really quick and we're gonna skip to the next step. Okay. So y'all can see that is <laughs> you know 
something that will make me like go all the way left with this review. Um, oh my god. Ah, my goodness. Okay. I'm not even about to play around with this. Um, this is just too much. Okay, I'm not about to play around with this, uh, the little blender thing. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with their buffing brush because it's looking, it's too dark, number one. Number two, baby girl, holy cow. All right, y'all, you know what? We can fix this and we can finesse this. I've seen the best of the best get a really dark foundation and <laughs> oh my god and finesse it you know to work for them i actually really like this blending brush you know what it might be too dark for my skin but what i will say i one i should have stuck with the 350 this is 356 and it's oh it's oh it's it's too dark anyway it is full coverage, like it is, it is what it says it is. Like, sis was not coming to play with this formula. So, in the event you do something like I did, always blend down to your neck. And it's not even blending down into my neck properly. <laughs> Bro, oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> ah! Okay, at this point, I'm not even about to take this little tryout, whatever, elf tryout video. I'm not taking this serious because one, I'm looking like Oompa Loompa. That's number one. Like, I love being chocolate. I'm a chocolate girl. But like, I am extra chocolate, like, extra chocolate like this 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 is not what you're supposed to do sis <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm looking like all oompa loompa but i can't say it's full coverage like there it's like i don't need to reapply nothing the brush blended it out beautifully like i'm Honestly surprised, like, this is a nice little brush. Definitely pick this up, this is a must have. Okay, so next, we're gonna concentrate, sis, concentrate. All right, next, we're gonna go in. So I thought this one was gonna be too light because of, you know, I thought it was gonna be too light, but now in order to like balance out this foundation, and to finesse this whole look. We're gonna go in with this concealer first. Oh my gosh. Y'all don't say nothing to me right now. <laughs> I, I am like high key embarrassed right now. Like I ain't never, like I've done some pretty jacked up like makeup looks. Honestly, I think I just put too much on my forehead, messing around, talking to y'all. But this is, this like takes the cake. Okay, we're gonna layer on top the other one. That's two olive. Y'all, this takes the whole freaking cake. Like, I'm embarrassed. But I gotta like, I gotta do it because I kinda wanna see like how I can finesse this now. I ain't never like, I'm looking extra dark now actually. It, it really has oxidized or something. Or maybe it's like because of the concealers, but I'm looking extra dark, which I like. I look like a little Indian. You know, my little roots are coming through. <laughs> Jerky Indian. Um, okay, so let me quit playing. Um, I'm just, I'm just baffled. All right, I'm gonna use a beauty blender to buff out this concealer. All right, I can say it buffs out really well. That's number one. 
you can let it dry down more so that it doesn't spread as much I typically like mine to be able to like spread where I need it you see how like I blended it out like this and then you know I buffed out the in edges and it has like you know like it looks really seamless so if you can do that then you know you don't necessarily have to let it dry down I don't like to let mine dry down because I did that before and like literally had a block of concealer stuck on my face so okay yeah no that's too much all right i'm gonna have to finesse that with the <laughs> i'm gonna have to finesse rudolph with the um jeez oh i'm gonna have to finesse it with the uh with the contour all right let me get okay less is definitely more with this concealer it spreads really well like at, it actually spreads a lot better than most um concealers i've ever used and it has really good coverage so less is definitely i'm like honestly really surprised by this like this is giving very very nice coverage very nice spreadability and it buffs out really well like my forehead is looking you know extra banging white right now but we're gonna fix it with the contour here in a sec so i did pick up the contour well it's not a contour it's a bronzer palette um like this hold up little baby it does have a mirror included with it um so the these two right here i can see myself let me quit okay these two right here have shimmers in them so i'm not about to use those because I don't want a shimmer on my face so I'm gonna try to use this one in the corner and see what I can get from it and hopefully it, it's looking a little like it has pink undertones so I'm really hoping it doesn't because that's gonna be a disaster mm. And this is where you can finesse the forehead back down. If you do what I did and you know, apply too much of the concealer, just use the bronzer to, you know, bring the forehead back in. <laughs> okay, I'm not even about to lie to y'all. Like, I'm trying not to like get overly excited with this because I don't know how it's gonna last throughout the day, but like, this is actually blending really well and i mean like really well like you can see like how all the colors are coming together and how it's all working seamlessly which i mean you should be able to get from one product line so aside from them not having my foundation um like all of this is coming together really beautifully and i'm totally loving it so this one right here definitely worked for me um I'm gonna use a smaller angled brush to contour my, well not contour, to bronze my nose because I did, you know, put too much concealer on that. I don't wanna put too much because you can easily go in with too much bronzer or contour on your nose. Now we have to hide our little double chin. Having way too many quarantine snacks, you know. We're gonna pay for it later when we're in the gym doing our thing. But for right now, I'm just gonna contour it out. Okay. <laughs> Next, we actually need to set the under eye. And I did not get their HD powder because something I learned from Sister Mary James. Um, girl, you cannot be going in with the uh the HD setting powder they have. They had HD setting powder, and I'm not saying it was gonna be bad, but like on my skin type that's a no it's a absolutely absolutely not so i'm just going in with laura mercier translucent setting powder and it's really setting all this in really nicely you guys know it's crazy like i had a whole different like topics to talk about but like this review just went so left like <laughs> now i'm like invested in trying to figure out how i can go from a totally bombed makeup look to something that actually turned out really cute 
So, um, we have our powder on now. I'm gonna actually set it down with the e.l.f. Uh, Makeup Mist and Set, two times the original spray. And I actually like this because I think it was like $7, or like, it was like five to $7, and look how big the bottle is. Like, let me get my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Spray. Like, this, that's a banger price for, you know, a makeup setting spray. Okay, off the bat, off rip. One, it sprays a lot. So you don't need to do what I just did. I feel like I just took a bath. Um, <laughs> number two, hold it a little bit further away from your face than I just did because, like I said, took a whole shower, didn't mean to. But I will say, look at the brows and look how natural they look and they're, you know, staying where they're supposed to stay. I like how deep in color this one is but it does have a little bit of a shimmer in it. You can't tell, but I'm kind of leaning more towards, we'll give it a go. If it's too shiny, I won't use it again, but I definitely like the color of it. I'm just gonna dab a little bit and then tap off the excess in case your girl is ooh, super pigmented. Okay. It's not too much. Okay, I was afraid it was gonna be too much, but it's actually not too much, like the shimmer in it. Then so you just wanna dab that onto your face, buff it out. I like that. That gives me like a summer glow. All right, so now we have on our blush. Next, I am actually going to go in with the highlighter. So I got this metallic highlighter because it was either this one or a lighter version of this and I knew if I got the lighter one, it just was not gonna work out. Ooh, actually, I totally skipped over this. Um, I got their Prime and Stay Finishing Powder, so I'm just gonna buff this on really quick, and then we're gonna get to the highlight. So this is what the color I got. It's in light medium. And I am actually just going to use this little brush. Uh, it's a... Okay, so it's actually, this is a highlighter brush from e.l.f., but I'm gonna use it for this because it's like really light and like. Let's see what it does. Mm, I feel like that just made me ashy, so I'm actually not gonna use that. No, I'd use it on my concealer areas, but definitely not my, yeah, no. Definitely not my, um, the rest of my face. That is not a finishing powder I would suggest for someone of my skin tone. So, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the highlighter. This one, like I said, is the Metallic Flare Highlighter in White Gold. Um, let me swatch it for you. So, yeah, it's really, it's, 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 all right, we're just gonna give it a go. I'm not about to be biased because, but I'm definitely not gonna go in with the heavy hand. I'm using this, a fluffy brush from Morphe. It's a M510 brush. I'm just gonna apply this. Ooh. Okay, so this is actually perfect for a, subtle day like this is exactly what you want when you're just going to the store if you're going to school and you just want to sway on them girls real quick look at that it gives you like a dewy finish but not dewy where you look like you know you're wet and you need to put on some baking powder it gives you dewy as in like look at that that is a natural subtle glow that okay okay you know what i gotta stop being so you know, judgmental. I usually, okay. So I like hopped out of the makeup game for a minute there. Like, I was like, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't feel like, you know, I don't feel that confident in it. Yada, yada, yada. Like, look at that. But baby girl, I would be watching people review these highlighters and they'd be like, oh, I don't really like them. You know, they're too, you know, ashy for my skin tone. But for me, like, it works. Like, the under eye is a little bit ashy, um, just a little bit, but you can, you know, obviously 
fix that with a um, setting powder that has a little bit of a tint to it. So instead of the translucent powder, get like the one that is in like, I think like a light brown or medium brown or something like that. Get the one like that and it'll bring some color to under your eyes. But I actually don't mind this. Let me bring my hair to front. I actually don't mind this. It gives me like that really natural doll baby looking face. So next, I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner from NYX. No, it is not e.l.f. because I just forgot to grab it, honestly. And I've really been loving the NYX liner. I like the Natural Everyday Slay, so I'm gonna try these um, Allure ones. And if these are a banger, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and clear the shelf. These are cute. All right. Okay, I'm not putting y'all on the game, period. Nope, forget what I said. I'm just playing, all right. <laughs> um. Okay, so it is the Eyelure London um, Lux Silk Lashes. Um, This is what they look like. Definitely about to be a banger. So a new way I learned to apply my lashes was actually by applying the lash glue to my lash line before I put on the lashes. So I'm gonna do that right now. Y'all, the, the glue dries super quick. Okay, I'm about to see if I can still stick this on because I'm not trying to have to reapply this glue. I really let that dry quick. Like I literally, bruh. That dries super quick. Okay, plus side, it dry quick. Downside, don't mess around and look at your phone for two minutes because this you're gonna come back and it's gonna be dry on you and you're gonna have to redo it. Oh man, this one's like a little bit more dry than the other eye, so let me see if I can try to get this on. Okay, look how cute this came out. I love it. Okay, say less, say less, okay. Um. All right, so I already like spray my face again to set the makeup down and all the powders and everything. Um, now I'm just going to go in with like a lipstick. I actually do have quite a few lipsticks from e.l.f. Um, I kind of want to do a like a light pink. Um, look with this. Let me see. So I'm thinking about using this um, brown color. It is it's in the nude by elf looks like this color and for flirty and fabulous in this color by elf and i kind of want to use this one as a lip liner so like let me see what it do what it do see if it do what it do um that's looking super ashy so let me see what it looks like with the pink because if that don't work then <gasps> yo my pink like the room down here is so hot like my pink like Melt it in here, bro. Oh, I ain't got time. Okay, um, I'm just gonna take a brush and like brush this onto my lips. This is just <laughs> not my day. Okay, okay, so adding a brown on the outside toned it down and it doesn't look so Barbie pink <laughs> anymore. All right, I'm gonna add some mascara actually to my bottom lash line because I totally forgot. I mean, I can leave it like this. This is really cute. Um, You know what, actually I'm gonna leave it like this. Like I typically do like to add stuff to my bottom lash line but this is actually really cute, this is a look. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, uh, this is the finished look. I. I'm like honestly surprised it came out decent decent because like I mean it looks a little washed out but I'm I'm really feeling like it's the lighting in my room because I typically do use natural lighting and in person it doesn't look washed out like it looks on camera and I'm pretty sure that is just from my ring light so and I blended it down to my neck and surprisingly it like blended out really nicely. So I will give this little, you know, trial and error session a nine out of 10 because like, you know, for an everyday wear, 
and it's full coverage it doesn't feel cakey and it doesn't feel heavy even though i have on a full face of makeup and that's what i love because i used to live in the south like a light full face of makeup is what you want I'm like girl it's already hot you got time so i definitely enjoyed trying to turn this disaster into something beautiful which is what i think it came out to be i'm really feeling these lashes my brows look really nice and natural like yes so i would definitely definitely be doing um more looks with this makeup line pleasantly surprised if you like this video if you like my little trial and error give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you want to see other makeup brands high-end drugstore whatever i can do it um just let me know um please subscribe to this channel and i will see you lovely gals and guys in the next video bye guys